What's good with you, man? We are back with another banger. So this time I brought you guys the best finds in CSGO, man. Let's get straight to it. Alright, so before the video starts, I just want to appreciate the 100 subscribers and the 15,000 views on the channel. The grind never stops, bro. My next aim is 200 subscribers and like 20,000 views. If you like my content, if you like what you see, then drop a like and subscribe, leave a comment, join to my Discord, and turn on post notifications so you can get notified when I upload a video. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, I will put everything in the description. It's in the playlist, you can check it out. If you want booster FPS, if you want saying like stretch resolution, if you want the text mods, everything will be there. So you can check that out. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is set up the console. How you can do that is hit escape on your keyboard. Go to the settings menu. Um, go to the game and right here you will see enable developer console switch this to yes or like turn it on next is keyboard and mouse you need to scroll down and you will see toggle console right here and put this on like a personal button that you can use make sure it's on something mine is at zero so i can open it with that button so the number first bind is mouse wheel jump bind this bind will cause you to jump whenever your mouse wheel is scrolled up and down so if you want to learn how to b-hop this will help you it's way easier than if you would uh spamming spacebar you just need to scroll up and down so um the bind is right here everything will be in the description i will put all the binds down there so if you scroll down or you scroll up, uh, you will jump. So it's gonna be way easier if you want to bunny hop like me. Number two is quick switch bind. A quick switch bind will switch to your knife and then quickly back to your weapon when the bind key is pressed. So for this bind, um, it's bind Q, use weapon knife, slow to one. You can change this to any button that you want but i'm using q right now um all right so for the example if you shoot with ap for example this is very used next is bomb drop bind having the switch to your bomb then manually dropping it in positions so it's definitely worth setting up drop bomb bind with this by pressing the, the B key, you will instantly switch to your C4, drop it on the ground, then switch it back to your primary weapon. So, the bind is this. Um, I'm using B right now, but you can put this on any button that you want. Pressing B will um, drop the bomb instantly, then switch it back to your primary weapons. Next bind is clear decals. Decals are any effect added to the walls and ground of the map as a result of gameplay, blood, graffiti, etc. This bind will instantly clear all the binds when you're pressing the, for example, any key that you want. This is useful as it makes things easier to see, for example, after blood on the wall makes it harder to see the enemies who is peeking in front of it. So for this, I can guys see it's on right here. I'm gonna use W. And when you press W on your keyboard, everything will be um, cleared. So for the last bind for today's video is the switch hands bind. The switch hands will switch your gun position between your left hand and your right hand. Whenever you're pressing the bind key, example, when you want to also watch a spot or side that the gun is covering. But some players report that they perform better when the weapons are on the opposite side of the screen. It is bind, any key that you want, I'm using Q, uh, I'm using L right now. So L, toggle, CL, right hand, 0 and 1. So you need to press it once if you press it again it will switch back to the other hand in my opinion what you should put this on is to your mouse button if you got like extra buttons on the side i suggest you to put on that extra buttons that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed drop a like subscribe i will make a episode two of this so make sure you stay tuned i'm ready in the mouth let's get it